Hi, my name is Mohammed. I'm a program manager at Microsoft Cognitive Services, previously known as Project Oxford. Microsoft Cognitive Services is a platform of machine learning based RESTful APIs and SDKs that help developers easily add and integrate smart into their application. Today, I'm going to talk about an interesting service called Speaker Recognition. Speaker Recognition service helps you recognize users based on their voice, as voice has unique characteristics that can be used to recognize and identify a speaker. So just like everyone has a unique fingerprint, everyone has a unique voice. To establish identity, three pieces of information are needed. Something you know, and this can be a, a password or a PIN. Something you have, a credit card, a secure token, a mobile device, and something you are. And this covers all biometric characteristics, voice, fingerprint, and face. And this is where speaker recognition comes to help. In general, speaker recognition has two phases, enrollment and recognition. During enrollment, the speaker's voice is recorded, a number of features and characteristics are extracted to create what we call a voice print that uniquely identifies the speaker. These characteristics are based on the physical configuration of the speaker's vocal tract, which are unique. Then comes recognition, during which the provided speaker's audio sample is compared against the created voice print and the speaker's identity is verified. Speaker recognition offers two services, speaker verification and speaker identification. Speaker verification takes security into a higher level. It is tightly related to authentication scenarios, and that's why it is associated with a passphrase. To better see how it works, let's have a look at the services demo page. First, I need to pick a passphrase from the given list of passphrases. So let me choose this one. My voice is stronger than passwords. The service requires at least three enrollment to successfully register my voice with the service and have a voice print created. So let's get started. My voice is stronger than passwords. The first enrollment went through, two more enrollments are needed. My voice is stronger than passwords. One more enrollment to go. My voice is stronger than passwords. Now enrollment is complete and I can start the verification step and test the service using different scenarios. So let's do that. My voice is stronger than passwords. As you can see, the request was accepted as the service was able to recognize that I'm the correct speaker saying the correct passphrase. So let's choose a different passphrase. How are you doing today? The request was rejected as a different passphrase was used. Then comes speaker identification. Speaker identification service can automatically identify the person speaking given a group of speakers. So in the case you have a group of people sitting together, it can help you identify who is currently speaking. This is best shown through our services demo page. Here we have a list of well-known people, presidents, and a list of audio files. And we don't know which audio file relates to which president. But using our speaker identification service, we can identify which president is talking in each file. So I'm going to start and choose this one. We gather because we have chosen hope over fear. Unity of purpose over conflict in this... And as you can see, the service was able to recognize that the speaker in this audio file was Barack Obama. So that's all about speaker recognition APIs. Hope you found the video useful. Thank you.